Hey, Wilson, come in here and check this one out. I like this track. Let me get my microphone closer so you can hear it. Man, that mow in. Oh, what? Check that out. You see that? That flex. Oh, that JV Real Boom Box 3. Flexing on them, baby. Look. Me and Wilson out here just clowning, man, listening to some tracks. Hey guys, for those of you who are just stopping by for the first time, I wanna welcome you to New Stuff TV 2, the Untechnical Tech Channel. I'm your host, Antoine. Let's listen to some dope tracks, Richardson, because today we just checking out some dope tracks with the JBL, uh, what is this? Not the charge, this is the boombox. Yeah, I got two speakers here, I get a little confused. By the way, before we get started, let me do some housekeeping. When we come out here, we do this live stuff, you know, I hire a bunch of paid actors. You know, they walk around, they, they ride motorcycles, they fly airplanes. I pay them, right, to do their job. Some of these cats be getting a little overzealous because they get to be in the production. So if they get a little loud or, or crazy, just, just let it be. Don't give them no attention. Now, back to what we were doing. The Boombox 3. Dude, I've had this thing pretty much a year. Let's just call it a year that I've had it, and it's been a great speaker. I've really enjoyed listening to this thing. But full disclosure, Oh man, while this is one of my top two, this is, okay, so I got JBL's best speaker here, right? The JBL Charge 5. I just did a video on this. Yes, in 2023, December, this is still a good buy. This is also JBL's best speaker. This is the one and two punch right here. JBL's best speakers. But with that being said, me personally, I actually always listen to the Sony XG100 as far as my big Bluetooth speaker. Now look, man, don't you fanboys, don't be eating me up in the comments, okay? I just prefer, the more subtle, like warm sound of the Sony XG500, but I still own this speaker, so I still put this son of gun to work in the gym. At my home gym, it lives in my garage because that's where I do all my manly stuff, right? When I'm lifting heavy stuff and putting it in different places, I gotta have this thing because of the bass. The, the bass is just, it's just freaking bass. <laughs> the mid range is there, the treble is there. This speaker is way more in your face and that's what I like about it. So it has its own place, you know, for me anyways, you know, I can't use it all the time, but for me, it has its own place. Out here is definitely one of them places where I could just, oh, for, uh, for example, me and Wilson got out of the car, we were walking across the parking lot and I just turned it on just to kick it on real quick. I saw the look on Wilson's face. He was like, damn. I was like, I know, right? The sound is just incredible out here. It doesn't need walls or anything to bounce off of. It just, it just hits, it hits hard. How hard? so hard so we walk across the field and i decided to just turn it up full blast and it sounded clean man no distortion or anything like that but what you do notice is mm, let's say about 70 percent you start noticing that high end or not the high end but the low end roll off a little bit but that's pretty typical of bluetooth speakers because they're on their own battery source speaking of battery source you're getting 24 hours that they say you get but you ain't gonna get all that, man. Especially if you're jamming this thing the way you're supposed to be jamming. I can't give you a hard number of the battery life that you're gonna get, but don't expect 24 hours if you're actually jamming this thing hard like you're supposed to be. But back to the sound. Sound is incredible. We've talked about this speaker a number of times on my channel. Look, you got this racetrack subwoofer that lives behind this JBL logo. Then you got these two mid-range drivers or dynamic drivers. And then you got these tweeters up here. You got full range of sound crossover in there giving you that total clean bass and i just absolutely love it it is thundersome bass and you know i'm a bass lover but i also like clean music and that's why i like this speaker construction wise i've had it for a year not a scratch on it now granted i'm not taking this thing everywhere with me but um not a scratch on it because it's made to be durable man it's got good build materials look on here man you got the cloth the fabric on here so it's kind of scratch resistant in a way and you know repel a lot of like physical damage but then you got the outer plastic here it's a nice abs hard plastic then you got this neoprene or rubber on the outside protecting the uh, the base radiators right here's where i have a problem initially when you grab this thing you notice the handle is going to be nice and cool to the touch that means it's metal metal's good in a build until you get out in the sun then you realize damn this stuff is hot so if i would advise you if you're going to get this speaker or if you already have it, but haven't had uh, had a chance to take it outside yet, don't leave it in direct sun for a long time. And if you do, like drape a towel over it or wrap it or something like that, because it's gonna scald your hand when you go to pick it up. So, you know, like basketball court, park and stuff like that, you definitely wanna make sure this handle is protected so you don't burn your hand. We trying to sue JBL. <laughs> Anyways, let's talk about party booths. 
This thing is party boost capable. So that's why I brought the Charge 5 because I wanted to party boost them, not in this video or anything. We've seen this already. Look, I've done plenty of videos on these JBL speakers. But if you have an identical, and I mean identical, not a Boombox 1 and a Boombox 3 or a Boombox 2 and a Boombox 3, but if you have two Boombox 3s, you can stereo pair them, okay, together. And that's gonna give you some freaking incredible sound. Oh my God. But if all you got is other JBL speakers that do party boost, like the Charge 5 or a Flip 6 or something like that, boom, you can party boost these joints and just have sound all over the place. That's something that's really nice to have. And the reason why I bring that up is because other speaker companies do that. Sony does it, it's called Party Connect, I think. Uh, Soundcore does it, and it's called Party Cast, I think. I think JBL actually does that the best. You literally just turn the speakers on, press the button on each speaker, they find each other, boom. You can even do it inside the app if you want to, and it just works. Love that about what JBL has done with their speakers. But almost a year later, I'm still very excited to have this thing. So if this is something that you're looking at getting right about now, I say pull the trigger, man. Pull your wallet out and throw it at the screen and wait for your speaker to be delivered. But I'm no expert in this kind of stuff. But what I do know is you have interrupted me and Wilson's jam session. So you ready to get back to jamming, Wilson? Let's, let's do this, man. Let's, let's turn this up a little bit. Ha -ha. Hey, man. Y'all keep being good to each other. And I'll see you when I see you.